Tonight, we shall crown the 26th state champion for Class B girls basketball. The team that played this afternoon in the first game were the Lady Lions of Selby High School. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please remain standing as, as members of the Lower Rural High School, JROTC, present the flag of our country. The members of the color guard are Cadet Corporal Jody Tubolds, Private Christina Ayer, carrying the national colors, Cadet Corporal Sherilyn Estes, carrying the South Dakota state colors, Private Michaela Estes, carrying the Lower Rural tribal colors. Sergeant First Class, Carl Madison Crow, and First Sergeant Edward R. Biggers, Commander of the Color Guard.
There are the starting lineups for the championship game 2000 from the Corn Palace in Mitchell. Opening tip set to get underway here momentarily.
Opening tip controlled by Waverly South Shore. Jacqueline Jensen brings it up. Sarah Jensen at 7.42 for a three to get on the board first for the Coyotes. Bottom in the lane, up rebound, Sarah Jensen. Foul's gonna go on Renee Bottom as she gets the arm of Kim Kennedy. 721 left here in the first quarter. Kennedy will be at the line to shoot two. First foul of the game. Rebound out of bounds off the hands of Kessler. Lynn Kessler for the Coyotes. Cross to Tasha Hole who puts it in at 7-13. Lady Chieftains are on the board, it's two to three. Ball taken away by Hall, and the foul is going to go on Patty Meyer. First foul of the game on the Coyotes. 6.41 in the first quarter. Banger bringing it up court. Let's pass underneath the knoll. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Out of bounds. Off either Jensen or Meyer. Jacqueline Jensen or Patty Meyer. Inbounds pass back underneath to bottom. Can't get it to go. And she's tied up from behind as she tries to go back up off the rebound. But that will leave it with the Lady Chieftains on the alternating possession here. Shoots for three. Rebound pulled out of there by Sarah Jensen. Jacqueline Jensen puts down another three for the Coyotes. Jimmy Noll from 10. Rebound Sarah Jensen. Kessler for three. Rebound, Lindsey Binger. Two to six to score. <laughs> Underneath, Noel almost loses it as she gets it slapped away and she goes to the floor.
Corkins drives it inside, gets the bucket and draws the foul. Corkins with the bucket and the foul goes on Patty Meyer. Second foul on Meyer, second team foul on the Coyotes. 4.27 here in the first quarter. Corkins at the line to shoot one. Puts it down, it's five to six. Three-point attempt, Sarah Jensen puts down another one. It's five to nine. Corkins lays it up, rebound. Foul gonna be whistled on Jeannie Knoll. First foul on Knoll, second team foul on the Lady Chieftains. Blocked from behind and stolen by Lindsey Banger. And then Nicole, or rather Sarah Jensen, tries to take it away and gets whistled for the foul. First foul on Jensen, third team foul. Corkin shoots for three, a little short. Put it underneath by Kennedy. Pass blocked away by Banger and picked up by Nolan. A foul is going to go on Patty Meyer. Patty Meyer picks up her third personal foul there with 319 left in the first quarter. And she goes to the bench as. Number 20, Katie Meyer, comes into the game. Bottom for three, in and out. Rebound, Kessler. Sarah Jensen from the top of the key for the three-point. Rebound picked up by Katie Meyer, lost and picked up by Bottom. Slapped away underneath and Bottom picks it up. <laughs> underneath to Noel and it's in the bucket, it's seven to nine. Sarah Jensen for, no, Jacqueline Jensen for the three. Makes it seven to 12. Oh, it's only a two. She towed the line that time. She was standing right on the line. The official said she touched it, so it's a two. Seven to 11. <laughs> Tasha Hall tries to go inside, gets it about stripped away, puts it up and gets the bucket. It's nine to 11. A minute 35 left in the first quarter. Foul whistled on Tasha Hall for the push. Be the third team foul. End of the game comes Gilbert, Thorne, and Otto for Hall, Banger, and Noel for the Lady Chieftains. With a minute 25 left here in the first quarter. Kennedy on the inbounds makes it nine to 13.
Underneath to Otto against the bucket. It's 11 to 13. Devin Otto with the bucket. Katie Meyer from 18, rebound picked up by Foul was whistled on Corkins, I believe. Nope, on uh, Joni Gilbert. Couldn't see who Marty Wiseman indicated there. Three point attempt by Sarah Jensen, rebound Gilbert. 11 13 with 37 seconds left here in the first quarter. Corkins tries to drive it up. Now the foul is going to go on Corkins as she trips up Jacqueline Jensen from behind. Corkins picks up her first personal foul, fifth team foul on the Lady Chieftains. 27 seconds left here, first quarter. Katie Meyer for three at the buzzer. After one, Coyotes lead by two. As the second quarter gets underway here, the Coyotes of Waverly South Shore will have first possession. Underneath to Sarah Jensen, and Otto comes out of there with a the rebound, and she's fouled by Kennedy. Kennedy picks up her first personal foul, I believe, fifth team foul. Seven forty-five left here in the first half. Thorne drives the baseline, gets it blocked from behind and taken away by Kessler. Blocked by Noel. Jimmy Noel blocks a shot and Thorne picks up the loose ball. <laughs> Bottom tries to go inside. She's going to be whistled for a travel. <laughs> Noel and Let's see, Bottom goes to Bottom and Otto go to the benches. Corkins and Hull come back onto the floor. Jeannie Noll with a steal. And the layup, and it's all tied at 13. First score of the second quarter at 6 13 by the Lady Chieftains. Kessler hands off to Kennedy and about knocks her over. Foul going to be whistled on Ashley Corkins. Corkins picks up her second personal foul, team sixth foul. Kessler will be at the line to shoot two. 
5.46 left here in this first half. It's all tied at 13. Bottom and Banger waiting to check back in after this first free throw attempt. Thorn and Gilbert head to the back to the bench. Kessler hits them both. It's 13 to 15. <laughs> Bottom lays it in. It's tied again at 15. The pass in from Noel. Jackie Jensen, rebound, no. <laughs> Cross court to Corkins from 12 on the left side. Banger with the rebound, goes back up, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled out of there by Kessler. Score remains 15-15. Jacqueline Jensen from 17. Corkins runs down the rebound in the corner. <laughs> Corkins drives all the way down, gets a strip, but Noel picks it up, puts it in, and draws a foul. Noel with the bucket. Foul goes on Kim Kennedy, her second personal foul. Six team foul here with 4.09 left in the first half. Corkins comes out of the game as Otto checks back in. Jeannie Knoll at the line. And she puts it down, it's 18-15. And a timeout called by the Coyotes here with 4.05 left in this first half. Lady Chieftains lead at 18 to 15. <laughs> Sarah Jensen for a three, rebound, no. Underneath, Otto can't get it to go. Rebound, slapped out of bounds, they say, by Devin Otto. Is going to be whistled on Devin Otto out there on the drive. First foul on Otto, seventh team foul. That'll put Jacqueline Jensen at the line to shoot one and one. them both makes it 18 to 17 Thorne back into the game for Lindsey Banger <laughs> bottom lo 
loses the handle as she goes to pass off underneath and it goes out of bounds. Ball out of bounds, went out of bounds apparently off Knoll now underneath there's, got banged around. Away from the ball, Devin Otto called for the push-off foul, or excuse me, before the shot, because it was against Jacqueline Jensen. <laughs> Ashley Corkins into the game for Noel. Gilbert back into the game for Otto here. 2.55 left here, first half. Jacqueline Jensen at the line, shooting one and one on the eighth team foul on the Lady Chieftain. Second foul on Otto. <laughs> and Sarah Jensen puts the Coyotes back up by one, 18 to 19. Corkins throws a bad pass, but Gilbert picks it up out of the middle and salvages it. Bottom for a three. Rebound pulled out of there by Kessler. Kessler forces it up and on a rebound. There's going to be a foul whistled on Kim Kennedy. That's the seventh team foul on the Coyotes. That'll send Gilbert to the line to shoot one and one. Joni Gilbert will be at the line. Third foul on Kennedy. Noel back into the game for Tasha Hall here with 2.05 left in the first half. Coming into the game is Jackie Zemlicka in for Kennedy for the Coyotes. <laughs> Gilbert hits them both and it's 20 to 19, Lady Chieftains. Kessler forces it up underneath, gets her own rebound, goes back up with it. Jeannie Knoll pulls it out, outlet to bottom. Corkins is gonna go inside. She's gonna be called for the offensive foul as Katie Meyer stood her ground. Corkins picks up her second foul. Or third foul, excuse me, third foul on Corkins with a minute 21 left. Tasha Hall quickly checks back in.
rebound. Sarah Jensen back up and in underneath. Makes it 20 to 21 with 33 seconds left here in the first half. Bottom drives the baseline, takes it back up top to Hull, and it's going to be an over and back. No, 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 no. Now they're gonna give him the ball down underneath on an over and back. Sarah Jensen ducks underneath the would-be block and puts it in the hole. 20 to 23 with five seconds now left. And a stolen pass as Sarah Jensen steals it. Bottom steals it back at the buzzer. After one half a play, Coyotes are up by three. And present the award to the two teams that play in the first game this evening. Our members of the Board of Directors of the South Dakota High School Activities Association, Rhonda Reinhardt and Terry Spoken. The award has become known as the Spirit of Six. The Spirit of Six Award was created by the South Dakota Peace Officers Auxiliary as a memorial to the six cheerleaders from Mountain City who lost their lives in an airplane accident while returning to Mountain City for the 1968 Boys State Day Basketball Tournament. As reported by the Mountain City Journal, the spirit epitomized by the Mountain City cheerleaders was best expressed with an inscription out of picture from one of the Rapid City cheerleaders to another member of the squad. The inscription said, This year has been quite a challenge for everyone. You've got the qualities that a good cheerleader needs. I sure hope that we can go to state basketball because that is definitely one of the better sides of cheerleading. Be happy and enjoy this year with all the memories. The award is based upon the cheerleaders' abilities displayed in the areas of crowd control, sportsmanship, enthusiasm, behavior on the court, and dress. Gloria Hansen and Lois Taylor from the South Dakota Peace Officers Auxiliary is proud to present for the 24th year the trophy in memory of the six Rapid City cheerleaders to the cheerleaders from Del Rapids. Brianne 
As the second half gets underway here, Lady Chieftains will have first possession. Josh and Hall for a three, puts it down at 7.50 in the third quarter. It's all tied at 23. Jacqueline Jensen partially blocked away and then cleared out of there by bottom. <laughs> Offensive foul whistled on bottom for stopping and backing into Jacqueline or Le Kessler, I guess. An offensive foul was called anyway. Second foul on bottom. First foul of the half at Underneath, Patty Meyer turns around and drops it in. It's 23 to 25. First score of the second half at 7.03 for the Coyotes. for a three, bounces high, rebound, taken out of there by Jacqueline Jensen. Down underneath to Meyer, Patty Meyer turns and puts it down, 23 to 27. Jacqueline Jensen knocks it away from Banger and then out of there with the steal. And now Banger's gonna be called for the foul on the other end. And the Lady Chieftains want a timeout. 6.06 left here in the third, it's 23 to 27. During that timeout, Jolene Thorne checks into the game for Tasha Hull. Kessler cranks for a three, rebound. Finally, still loose and it's tied up and that'll leave it with the Coyotes. Inbounds to Kennedy, rebound Thorne. Noel gets tripped up. Thor Corkins for a three. Ashley Corkins makes it 26 to 27. <laughs> Traveling called against Sarah Jensen as she gets the ball high on the dribble and carries it. Bottom for three, drains another one. It's 29, 27, Lady Chieftains. 4.55 left in the third. Yeah. 
Sarah Jensen for a long three. Jacqueline Jensen rebound back up in the key, puts it in. It's all tied at 29. <laughs> Lindsey Banger with the pass. It goes right by Jolene Thorne, breaking the wrong way. Kessler drives underneath. Noel pulls off the rebound. Finger underneath to Noel. Puts it off the glass. It's 31 to 29. 359 left here in the third. Sarah Jensen, as she goes underneath, she tries to whip it around. There's a foul going to be whistled on Thorne. Jolene Thorne picks up the personal foul, third team foul. First foul should be on Thorne. <laughs> 341 left here in the third. The Coyotes have yet to be whistled for a foul in this half. Jacqueline Jensen, rebound, Kessler goes back up inside, gets the bucket and draws the foul. That'll be foul number four on Ashley Corkins. Joni Gilbert quickly checks into the game for Corkins with 3.36 left here in the third. It's all tied at 31 with Kessler at the line to shoot one. And it bounces it, it's 31 to 32. <laughs> Foul gonna be whistled on Sarah Jensen as she reaches in on Lindsey Binger. Second foul on Jensen, first team foul of this half at 3.30 left here now in the third quarter. Underneath, no, turns around, puts it up, and she's fouled. <laughs> Foul goes on Kennedy, and I believe that's four on Kennedy. That is, that's four on Kim Kennedy, with 312 left in the third. Jimmy Noel with the line to shoot two. Coming into the game for Kennedy is Katie Meyer. <coughs> Noel hits them both, it's 33 to 32. And a timeout called by the Coyotes with 3.05 Left in the third, it's 33 to 32, Lady Chieftains. <laughs> Patty Meyer with a three point attempt on the rebound, it's tied up. Binger and Kessler tie it up, and it'll give it to the Lady Chieftains. Jeannie Noel underneath to Gilbert, who puts it up, can't get the roll. Noel puts it back up and in, it's 35 to 32. Jacqueline Jensen puts down a three, and it's all tied at 35. 2.22 left in the third.
cross court for G or Joni Gilbert and she thought there was somebody behind her and stepped on her knees instead of stepping back to get the pass. Devin Otto into the game for Jeannie Knoll. Tasha Hall coming back in for Lindsey Binger. Five left here in the third quarter. Sarah Jensen from 14 puts it 35 to 37. Tasha Hall for three. Rebound Kessler. Jacqueline Jensen for three, rebound, Hull. Timeout called by the Lady Chieftains. 30 second timeout with 54 seconds left here in the third to score is 35 to 37. Gets it up, rebound, Patty Meyer. <laughs> 30 seconds left here in the first half, or excuse me, third quarter. 30 seconds, 25 seconds now, 35, 37. Jacqueline Jensen for a long three, puts it off the glass. At the end of three, 35 to 40, the Coyotes for the lead. As the fourth quarter gets underway here, the Coyotes will have first possession. Three seconds called down underneath on somebody. Ball slapped away from bottom and taken out of there by Jacqueline Jensen. Bottom gets in front of her and cuts her off, but Bottom gonna be whistled for that foul. Fifth team foul on the Lady Chieftains. I believe that's foul number three on Bottom. Yes, it is. Jacqueline Jensen will be at the line here to shoot two. 7.33 left in this game. First score of the fourth quarter coming at the free throw line here for the Lady Coyotes, or the Coyotes rather. Second one comes away, Noel with a rebound. It's 41 to 35. Slapped away, finally tossed out of there by Jacqueline Jensen out to Sarah Jensen, who lays it up at the other end. And no fouls called in that melee.
35 to 43. Bottom from 12 out on the left baseline, right baseline, and on a rebound, or actually, whatever, the foul's gonna go on Katie Meyer. She backs under Nolan, dumps her on the ground. It was after the shot, so no free throw attempts, only the third team foul. First foul on Katie Meyer. Underneath, as it comes to Noel, a second foul is called now on Katie Meyer, fourth team foul. Bottom over to Hall, off the glass. First score of the fourth quarter for the Lady Chieftains at 6-12. It's 37-43. Yeah. Traveling whistled on Katie Meyer as she rolls around trying to get around Jeannie Knoll. Timeout called by the Lady Chieftains with 5.52 left. It's 37 to 43. <laughs> Lindsey Banger lays it up, can't get it to go. Rebound, Sarah Jensen. Banger slaps it away, out of bounds, off the Waverly South Shore, Jackie Jensen as it goes off her feet and out of bounds, off the slap from Banger. <laughs> Tasha Hall for a three, drains it. It's 40 to 43. Kessler hands off underneath to Katie Meyer, who gets it slapped out of bounds. <laughs> Jacqueline Jensen puts down another three, makes it 40 to 46. Underneath the knoll, gets the roll. It's 42 to 46. And she gets decked underneath as she gets pushed out. Over in the corner, Kessler loses the handle. Perkins ready to check back in, but the ball gets started before she can get to the check-in desk. Ball stolen by Sarah Jensen, outlets it for Jacqueline Jensen. Foul gonna be called on bottom. She slapped the ball out of bounds, but she's gonna be called for the foul. Fourth foul on bottom here with 4.01 left in this contest. Sixth team foul. Jensen will be at the line. Jacqueline Jensen at the line to shoot two. Well, 
Kennedy coming back in for Katie Meyer. Parkins coming back in for Thorne for the Lady Chieftains. Forty-two to forty-eight. Four minutes left here in this contest. Parkins drives in the lane and lays it in. It's forty-four to forty-eight. Corkins with a wide open line that time. Meyer for a three and she drains one. It's 44 to 51. Fast step back to bottom, 18. Tasha Hall gets it and turns around and bangs it out of bounds off Kessler. Standing on that baseline, she didn't have much choice, but she took advantage of it. Timeout called by the Coyotes. 2.48 left, it's 44 to 51. <laughs> Corkins for a three. Rebound, Noel back up. Rebound Hull gets it slapped away. Out of bounds off no Hull's hand as she tries to reach to save it. Hull's gonna be whistled on Banger. Lindsey Banger picks up the foul, seventh team foul. Second foul on Banger. 221 left at the line to shoot one and one will be Kessler. Katie Meyer checks back into the game for Kennedy. Rebound Noel. Steal by Jacqueline, but there's a foul whistled. Foul whistled on Hull on the steal as Hull tries to get it back. Jacqueline Jensen at the line now to shoot one and one on the eighth team foul, second foul on Hull. Kessler, and that's loose on the floor. Finally picked up by Katie Meyer, and she gets it outside. Lindsey Banger going to be whistled for that foul. Now she comes out and gets the chop in there on Jacqueline Jensen. Jensen will be at the line to shoot one and one. Ninth team foul, third foul on Banger. 144 left.
Declan Jensen makes it a 44 and a 54 game. Minute 40 left. Bottom drives the lane, lays it in. It's 46 to 54. Call going to be whistled for the block off foul. Push off. I believe that's number four on Tasha Hull. Ninth team foul. No, it's only number three on Tasha Hull. I'm sorry. Tenth team foul, which will put Sarah Jensen at the line to shoot two. Minute 25 left in this contest. Kennedy checking back in for Katie Meyer. Forty-six to fifty-five. Bottom for three off the front of the rim. Sarah Jensen with the rebound. Foul's gonna go at ten second call against a held in backcourt for ten seconds. And timeout called by the Coyotes with a minute six left in this contest. I don't know what happened here, but apparently the other official had called timeout at the same time that that uh, Weisman will call the 10 second count. Anyway, the Coyotes get the ball back. Foul gonna go on Lindsey Banger. Picks up her fourth personal foul and Patty Meyer will be at the line to shoot two. 105 left in this contest. 46, 55. <laughs> Bottom, Holland Corkins checked back into the game for Thorne, Gilbert, and Otto, who would come in during the timeout. She hits the second one, it's 46 to 56. Pass inside, tipped away and goes out of bounds to the Lady Chieftains. Under a minute now, 55 seconds left. Lindsey Banger for a three, rebound, Jacqueline Jensen. Ball kicked out of bounds basically by Corkins. Thorne, Gilbert, and Otto back into the game for Hull, Corkins, and Bottom. Foul gonna be whistled on Thorne, I believe. Foul goes on Jolene Thorne. Sarah Jensen at the line, shooting two. Bottom Corkins and Hull back in. 42.8 seconds left. Second one comes away. Corkins with a rebound. 46, 56 to score. Hull gets her three point attempt blocked away and stolen by Kessler. The foul is going to go on Jeannie Knoll. Kessler will go on the line to shoot two. Second foul on Noel, 32.6 seconds left.
Lynn Kisler at the line, shooting free throws, gets the first one there. It's 46 to 57. And it's 46 to 58. Bottom pulls the trigger on a three. Corkins with the rebounds. Comes back out, strikes a three and drains it. It's 49 to 58. Timeout. Lady Chieftains with 21 seconds left. Foul's gonna go again on Jeannie Knoll, I believe. No, I take that back. There's no foul call. It's a timeout called by the Coyotes. Apparently there was a foul call as well because now we're at the free throw line shooting. Heather Crit at the line. Makes it 49, 59. Corkins for a three, off the side of the glass, put it out by Sarah Jensen. Ball's gonna go on Banger, and I believe that's gonna be all for Lindsey Banger. With 10.9 seconds left. And last foul, we couldn't figure out, apparently was called on uh, Jeannie Knoll, as they just showed the board, showed her with three now. That is five on Lindsey Banger. You're not be able to, you're not supposed to substitute with a two-shot free throw, but everybody wanting to check in. Marty Weissman says, come on in, let's play ball at the line. Sarah Jensen to shoot two. <laughs> on the floor right now for the Lady Chieftains. Otto, Voorhees, Megan Binger, Candace Elbers, and Courtney Johnson. Second one away, Voorhees with a rebound. Megan Banger bringing it up court, being harassed by Sarah Jensen. Voorhees for a long two, cleared out underneath. Final score, Waverly South Shore, the 2000 champions. Lady Chiefkins, runner up. Good job, Lady Chiefkins.
Sheriff and no caravan. Oh, nothing. Nothing. They're right on time. Coach, good.
where's your coats at, girls? It's cold outside. <laughs> Most important person of the day right there, the chief chauffeur.
sometimes it's easy to look back at the game and you pick out, oh, we just haven't done this, we just haven't done that. Man, there's a hundred things that go by that we accept as so routine that they don't accept as a routine in those teams that we beat all the time. It's not routine there. It's not routine down the 281, the highway. That's why they don't like us. We've earned that designation. It's hard to be good. It's hard to be great. But it's really hard to be great for a long time. That's really tough. Another part of the puzzle, these two guys right here, Coach Clark, who drives back and forth from Aberdeen. We're so happy we found him this fall. Drives back and forth from Aberdeen on these roads all the time. I think we can make room for him to do that, can we? We got to make some We're proud of people here that have offices as well. Coach Halster, Jim Halster is about to start playing basketball tomorrow night. I tell you what, come March, he's going to know why they call us the Jim Nathan. <laughs>
looks like a rag doll, looks she? <laughs> Some kind of ball she just found falls into a nice puddle. <laughs> the thing about Lindsay's all is she gets up every time. And I always have a smile on her face when she gets up, when she gets up. And that's the thing that has really impressed me and made me happy about Lindsay this year. Uh, I think we worried as, as
now I think you listen to her at five seven. <laughs>
not only did the people, as I said before, give up shots, but these top three gave up shots. These top three that we had, Ashley, Renee, Jeannie, uh, on any other team in the state, would have been your Michelle Bruns. They would have been your hockey girl. They would have been your follow-up.
things, I can go individualize, I can go teamwise it. This is the improvement. Going back to the selfish thing, Johnny Gilbert, we asked him all year long to catch the ball and look at the hoop. We call it a triple threat position in basketball. And she really didn't want to because that was not her idea. She wasn't there to score. And she caught it in the triple threat position in the state tournament. And there's numerous things that these kids did defensively, offensively wise that her uh, coach is a dream. And they stepped through and came through and I did that. Um, I cannot say thank you them enough. And one thing that we will do before we end, I told her that we weren't gonna do this because she's probably gonna get it. And I thought she was gonna get it against your
Thank you. 